Hello everyone, it's Caitlin Duchesne from the POA Public Library. I've gotten a lot of questions how I make the videos that you see here. And really, I use a really simple app called KindMaster. It's free to use and a lot of the features are free as well without subscribing. So, if you continue watching, I'll show you how to make them and also some of the cool features. So, this is the app called KindMaster. With it, you can create, edit, and share, as you can see. If you want to learn more than what I'm going to teach you in this basic tutorial video, the KindMaster app actually has a lot of fun YouTube videos that have fun tutorials like teleportation, heat vision, and all that cool stuff. But for now, we're just going to do a fun, basic YouTube tutorial of how to use KindMaster, the free version. To begin, this is the KindMaster home screen. This is where your app is going to open up when you click on it. Yours might look a little bit different the first time because you don't have any projects ongoing. However, I have one, two, three different projects ongoing, so that shows up right away. With the KindMaster home screen, there's a lot of different stuff that you can use. There's your current projects right here that you can click on to edit. Each one is a different project. There's an edit a new video. And then there's a YouTube tutorials. So all of those are going to come in really helpful. And then of course, if you want to buy stuff, there's also the shop. But you don't need to use it unless you really want to. But it does have some free stuff in it as well. Without further ado, let's begin. You're going to hit your edit button, which will take you to where you choose your screen size. And once you're there, you'll pick 16.9. You don't have to have that. You can do 9 by 16 or 1 by 1, but 16 by 9 is one of the most common ones. So 16 by 9. And this takes you right away to your Kind Master dash dashboard. Okay, what you see here, the background favorites, cloud storage, all of that, and anything else is basically your media that you can add to the timeline. The timeline is down here with a 0, 0, 0, sorry. Right now, it doesn't have anything because you don't have any videos. But let's say I wanted to add a video. I can either add a background, which these backgrounds are all the things that Kind Master has already included. As you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff here. They all are images though, so there's no there's not going to be any emotion in them unless you add it. Okay? But I don't want just the background. I want something else. So let's see. Here's all my stuff. I should have some downloaded, and I've got some files already saved. So I'm going to go to my downloaded. It'll show me everything I have saved. So right now, I just want some lights. So as I move the timeline, I can move the lights too. If I hit play on the right hand side, um, you're going to hear audio which that audio is kind of annoying, so I want to go ahead and take that out. To take that out, I can just click the clip and then go down on the right hand side menu to speed actually. I'm going to go to speed and then just mute audio. So this way, when I go back and hit play, so I'm going to hit the back button and I'm going to click out of the clip so I'm no longer highlighting it. When I hit play, I still get the motion, but I don't get the audio. The cool thing about this too is when I clip, when I click the clip again, I can see speed, so I can speed it up. So this way it goes a lot faster. I can slow it down. So it goes a lot slower, or I can have the original again. There's other things you can mess with as well, like you can change the clip graphics so it can kind of give it like an overlay to it or add stuff to it. You can make it sentimental so like a text come up, which is cool if you want to do something like a news broadcast or just like information about the video you're doing, but you don't have to do any of that. And that's just in the clip graphics. I can reverse it if it's long enough, which I'm not going to do, but that makes it play backwards. I can rotate it so that it flips other way, other way. And this is good, especially if you're doing a DIY video and your hands aren't faced the right way. You can change color filter 
and I'm only going to show you the basic one because this is the free version but the basic still has a lot so you can make it like stark kind of like that you can make it kind of cool you can make it red you can change a lot of different features there's a lot you can do with that and it's fun to just mess around with it a little bit so you can do adjustment so it's brighter dimmer Again, this is a free feature you can mess around with. Same thing with the volume envelope where you can raise certain volumes of certain parts of the clip. So let's say you have one clip where it's really soft and you can't hear. You can go to that part and just raise it back up with the volume envelope. Reverb, so it sounds like it's coming from different areas. Like instead of just being a room, it could sound like it's coming from a cave, a church, a studio, all these different cool. This especially good when you're trying to do music. Voice changer, where my voice could sound like There's a lot of choices you can do. Right now you can't hear anything because I don't have any music. So, but I'll add music. Okay, right now what it is, it's kind of boring, so I want to add a layer to it. A layer is a cool thing that either shows up on the video, behind the video, or wherever you want. So I'm going to add a layer. And there's a lot of different ones you can see. Right now, I'm just going to add a media layer. I'm going to go back down to my downloads because I know what I want to add. And I'm going to add this video right here. So as you can see, this video kind of takes up the whole screen. But I want it to take up even more because I want them to be stark. Kind of seems lame at first because you can't see the video behind it. But if you go down to the right hand menu, and go to chroma key which is free you can enable it chroma key makes it really good is that all that green background behind him disappears you can choose what color you want to disappear to so let's say his background behind him had been red i can choose red and that will disappear or if it had been primarily blue i could have cho chosen that and that would have disappeared as well but now since he's there but the background isn't but you can see the image through him if i hit play it looks like he's dancing to the party. Woo, woo. Okay. Let's say that I want him to, you know, keep dancing. At the end of the clip, he's just going to stop. It's not going to be anything else. What I can do is I can actually go to the three hand dots on the left hand side and I can duplicate that. And then I can move it. So I'm going to hold down the video I want to move and just slide it over so that way when they come to the end of the first clip it'll go to the second clip see he's still dancing okay right then it looks a little weird so what i wanted to do to make it look a little less weird is i can actually do an out animation there's a lot of different ways you can choose it but i can choose him to fade out so maybe it doesn't give that double effect or I can just move my clip a little bit more. And it pops back in. Okay, but there's a lot of different things I can do. And animation has a cool thing too, which I can make it even better. For instance, I can make it seem like he just drops down. Like, bam, scale up, drop down. All these different ways I can use the in animation. Okay, still a little lame. I want to add some more stuff to it. So let's say I add another layer, okay? So overlays are cool, they're kind of like stickers, and there's a lot of basic stuff that you can use here. For instance, let's see, my point, my classic stickers, which are ones that are already in it, come for free. So these are all free, and there's even more free ones that come in the shop. You just have to look through them. So maybe I want this emoji right here. I can put him right there. And then if I grab it on the timeline, I can move him. Shows like that. And then I can change how he shows up. Do I want him to pop? Do I want him to slide in? Do I want him to spin in clockwise? Doesn't matter. I can choose what he does when he's there. So, for instance, I can make a bunch of emojis come up with the fountain. I can make them flash. I can make them float or drift 
or rain emojis. A lot of different stuff I can do. Like he's getting all these likes. I kind of like the fountain. I think they're cool. And then I can even choose how he disappears. So I just want him to fade out. No more emojis. There's different layers I can do as well. Like I can change the effect of this. So one effect that is free is the basic effects, which is a mosaic. So as you can see, it made it more pixelated, or you can make it blurry. Uh, but there's again other effects that you can use by going to the store. I don't really want any of those for this video, but I can narrow it so it's just his face, like he's being blurred out for confidentiality reasons. It's kind of up to you. And if I don't want that, I can just hit the delete button on the left hand side. Another thing I can do with layers is I can add text. Here's all the different text I can do. I'm just going to type well. And then that appears, which I can make it larger or smaller. And I can even tilt it. So it's like this. And then with the text, you can edit that as well. So I can edit it and make it, let's say, bold. And then it'll show up like that. I can change the outline of it. So it has an outline. I can make that heavier, lighter. I can change the color of the outline. Make it look like that. I can add a shadow if I wanted to, make a lot shadow. I can change the shadow color so it looks like that. I can even make it glow. I can make a big glow, light glow. It's really kind of cool all the stuff I can do with it. I can even change the background color so, it, so it's more apparent. It can be a full width background so it takes over the entire screen or a straight line across. There's a lot you can do. I can change the animation of that too, so it pops in. Okay. Now, when I get to the end of the clip, it keeps going, but the cop's gone. So what am I going to do about that? What I can do is I can take the little red cursor, get it lined up to what I want, click. As you can see, the clip I'm managing right now is highlighted in yellow. And then if I go to the scissors up top, I can trim. You can split at where the red is, or you can trim to the right or the left, or you can even insert a freeze frame. Like let's say I really like this image right here. If I do split and insert freeze frame, I've got that image. There's no motion with it though. So that kind of might be a negative. So I'm going to click that image and delete it because I don't want it there. But then I can delete the entire right hand side. So, delete. I can do that with the scissors as well. I click click the clip again, and then trim to the right. So, what if I didn't want to do that? Like, I changed my mind, didn't want to do that. There's actually a back button as well on the left-hand side. So now it goes back, and I've got my little dancing cop. Look at him go. Okay, it's no fun right now, though, because there's no music. So let's go to our audio button on the right hand menu. And a lot of these things I've already downloaded for free um, or they're on the shop. Like here's one. And to add it to it, I just hit the plus. So it's just playing. So let's say I don't like where it starts. So I can click again, find my scissors, here they are, trim on the left hand side, and now it starts at a different location. And I want it at the beginning, not right here in the middle. So I just hold my clip and I drag it over. And that's it. There's my gun. Cute thing I've But a lot of this stuff is just messing around, seeing what you can do. Again, there's tutorials online that show you what you can do as well. One last thing. In order to share your video, you're going to have to export it. 
To export, go to the export screen. It's on the upper right hand corner, right there. And it'll take you right away to the export screen. Hit export and it'll start exporting automatically. Depending on the length of your video, it might take a while. But once it's done, you can upload it to YouTube or wherever you'd like. So I can't wait to see any of your videos. Thanks. Bye, guys.